A groundbreaking discovery of cave paintings is poised to revolutionize our understanding of prehistoric life. These extraordinary artworks could challenge our fundamental beliefs about humanity's origins and early civilizations. By delving into the depths of history, we can unlock the secrets hidden within these newly unearthed masterpieces. They promise to shed new light on the lives and cultures of our prehistoric ancestors. But before we get started, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button. The Mura Cave Tucked amidst the rolling hills of northwestern Bulgaria near the quaint village of Risha lies the Mura Cave. This remarkable cavern is adorned with a breathtaking collection of prehistoric paintings spanning from the Epipaleolithic to the Early Bronze Age. The cave's walls are a canvas for a diverse array of artworks, both figurative and abstract, offering a captivating glimpse into the lives of our ancient ancestors. Supposed to date back an estimated 8,000 to 10,000 years, the cave's interior galley boasts vibrant murals depicting religious ceremonies, dynamic hunting scenes, unique Balkan deities, and intricate geometric patterns. These masterful creations, crafted by skilled hands millennia ago, not only showcase exceptional artistic talent, but also provide invaluable insights into the spiritual beliefs, cultural practices, and daily lives of our forebears. The Mura Cave is undeniably a treasure trove of ancient art. Two particularly striking masterpieces, the fertility dance and the hunting ceremony, exemplify the prehistoric artist's creativity. Intriguingly, bat guano served as the medium for bringing these vivid images to life. With over 750 identified images, the cave is a testament to the rich artistic heritage of the region. Recognizing the fragility and irreplaceable nature of these artworks, strict measures have been implemented to protect them. After years of unrestricted access led to vandalism, the cave is now carefully monitored. Visitors can explore this wonder year-round, but only with a guided tour and ticket, ensuring the preservation of these invaluable treasures for generations to come. Chauvet Cave Discovered on December 18, 1994 by a team of speleologists, Chauvet Cave is a world-renowned archaeological site and a UNESCO World Heritage Treasure. Initially explored by Elie Brunel de Champ, Christian Hilliard, and Jean-Marie Chauvet, after whom the cave is named, this remarkable site unveiled not only stunning prehistoric paintings, but also fossilized remains and tracks of various animals, including extinct species. Unlike traditional Paleolithic cave art, Chauvet's walls depict an extraordinary diversity of creatures, including at least 13 different species. Beyond the usual horses, bison, and mammoths, these artists capture the essence of apex predators like cave lions, leopards, bears, and cave hyenas. The inclusion of rhinoceroses is particularly astonishing. It's as if we're standing alongside these ancient artists, witnessing their fascination with the powerful creatures that once roamed the earth. These pioneers of cave art employed groundbreaking techniques. They meticulously prepared the cave walls, creating a smooth canvas for their masterpieces. While the exact age is still debated, recent studies suggest the paintings date back to the Aurignacian period, approximately 32,000 to 30,000 years ago. El Castillo Cave El Castillo, or the Cave of the Castle, nestled within the breathtaking Monte Castillo complex in Cantabria, Spain, is a sanctuary of ancient art. This enchanting site houses the world's oldest known cave painting, a mesmerizing red disc estimated to be over 40,000 years old. A groundbreaking discovery in 2013 revealed that the majority of hand stencils in French and Spanish caves, including El Castillo, were created by women, challenging the long-held belief in male dominance of this art form. Discovered in 1903 by pioneering archaeologist Hermilio Alcalde del Rio, El Castillo boasts over 150 ancient drawings and paintings spanning millennia, from the Lower Paleolithic to the Bronze Age, and even into the Middle Ages. These artworks, crafted in charcoal and red ochre, depict a diverse range of animals, including horses, bison, deer, mammoths, and dogs. Some, like the deer with shadows, exhibit remarkable realism. Picasso himself marveled at the cave's artistry, acknowledging humanity's limited progress in 12,000 years. The artworks are categorized into three distinct eras, the black paintings of the Solitrian, the colorful images of the Magdalenian, and the simpler hand prints and circles of the Aurignacian. These include the iconic Gallery of Hands and the solitary red circle in the Corridor des Pignons, supposedly dating back around 33,000 years ago. El Castillo stands as a testament to the extraordinary artistic and cognitive abilities of our prehistoric ancestors. Liang Karampuang Cave 
Researchers have made a groundbreaking discovery in the Liang Karumpuang cave on Indonesia's Sulawesi Island, a remarkable depiction of a Sulawesi warty pig, estimated to be at least 45,500 years old by some, has been found on the cave walls. This extraordinary find pushes back the boundaries of our understanding of prehistoric art, making it the oldest known figurative cave painting in the world. Unlike previous discoveries, this life-size depiction of a pig represents a significant leap forward in human artistic expression. It demonstrates a clear understanding of the natural world and a capacity for storytelling through visual imagery. The artists behind this masterpiece utilized a mixture of pulverized okra and water to create their enduring artwork. This remarkable find offers invaluable insights into the cognitive abilities and cultural practices of our early ancestors. As research continues, the Liang Karampuang cave promises to reveal even more secrets about the dawn of human creativity. Pesh Merle Cave Located in the French countryside near Kaohe, Pesh Merle Cave offers a unique opportunity to step back in time. Unlike many other prehistoric cave sites, this captivating cavern is accessible to the public, allowing visitors to explore over 1,200 meters of this intricate network. Adorned with stunning prehistoric murals dating back to the Gravettian and possibly the Magdalenian periods, Pesh Merle is a treasure trove of ancient art. One of its most famous paintings, The Dappled Horses, is estimated to be around 25,500 years old. These horses exhibit a striking leopard-like spotting pattern, similar to modern Appaloosas. While the meaning behind these spots remains a subject of debate, DNA analysis suggests that spotted horses did exist during the prehistoric era. The cave also contains a well-preserved handprint, believed to be around 18,000 years old. Based on its delicate features, it's speculated to be a female's hand. Pesh Merle continues to enchant visitors with its glimpse into the distant past, offering a profound connection to our ancient ancestors. Ubir Rock Art Ubir is a rock art wonderland, boasting some of the world's most extraordinary prehistoric paintings. Key contributor to Kakadu National Park's dual world heritage status, Ubir showcases vibrant artworks dating back an astonishing 20,000 years. Hidden beneath towering sandstone cliffs, these paintings depict a captivating array of fauna, including barramundi, catfish, turtles, guanas, and the extinct thylacine. They offer a unique window into the lives of ancient Aboriginal people, capturing their interactions with the environment and their encounters with early outsiders. X-ray style paintings dating back just 1,500 years depict a world teeming with life during the freshwater period. Fish, waterfowl, mussels, wallabies, and yams showcase the region's abundant resources and the ingenuity of its inhabitants. Intriguingly, the site also features paintings of European explorers and mythical Mimi spirits, who according to local lore paint the artworks themselves. The presence of a thylacine, a species extinct for millennia, underscores the antiquity of Ubir's art. Traditionally a women-only site, this sacred place now welcomes all visitors, offering a profound connection to the past. Cueva de las Manos Tucked away in the heart of Argentina's Reno Pinchuras region lies Cueva de las Manos, a cave concealing a breathtaking collection of ancient artwork dating back between 13,000 and 9,500 years ago. Aptly named the Cave of Hands, this remarkable site is adorned with numerous stencil outlines of human hands. However, the cave's artistic repertoire extends far beyond these iconic imprints, encompassing captivating depictions of animals such as guanacos, a species still prevalent in the region today. It's believed that the creators of these ancient masterpieces were the direct ancestors of the indigenous hunter-gatherer communities encountered by European settlers in Patagonia during the 19th century. Cueva de las Manos stands as the most renowned rock art site in the Patagonian region and is considered one of the most significant artworks in the Americas. While the exact purpose of these creations remains shrouded in mystery, experts speculate that they served religious, ceremonial, or purely aesthetic functions. Remarkably, the cave houses the oldest known paintings in South America, with their age determined by analyzing the ancient bone pipes used to create them. These pipes, employed for spraying paint, have been instrumental in unraveling the secrets of this extraordinary artistic legacy, offering a unique window into the lives of the people who brought these masterpieces to life. Apollo 11 Cave Stones Namibia boasts an impressive collection of over 100,000 rock art sites, spanning millennia. Despite Africa's status as the cradle of humanity, the study of African rock art remains relatively unexplored. However, some exceptional sites like the Apollo 11 Cave Stones have captured the attention of archaeologists. Named after the 1969 moon landing, the Apollo 11 Cave is actually a rock overhang that once housed some of southern Africa's oldest mobile art. 
carbon dated to approximately 30,000 years old, these excavated slabs, now preserved in the National Museum of Namibia, offer a fascinating glimpse into the creativity of early humans. One of the most famous slabs portrays a remarkable theanthropic figure, blending human and animal characteristics. The cave also features numerous white and red paintings ranging from simple geometric patterns to images of bees. These artworks provide invaluable insights into the artistic expression and worldview of our ancient ancestors. Rock Art of Lower Pecos Nestled in the remote expanse of Lower Pecos Canyon lands where the Rio Grande and Pecos rivers converge near the Texas-Mexico border lies an extraordinary collection of rock art. Stretching over a hundred miles, this enchanting landscape is adorned with over 300 cave paintings, some spanning more than a hundred feet in length. Created with vibrant earth pigments like red and yellow ochre and charcoal, these vivid depictions offer a captivating glimpse into the world that existed up to 4,000 years ago, long before the advent of writing in North America. This pictorial archive serves as an invaluable resource for understanding the ancient hunter-gatherer people of the Pecos, capturing their rituals, myths, and daily life on a timeless canvas. While the first recorded mention of this rock art dates back to 1849, Serious scholarly efforts only commenced in the early 1930s, thanks to the meticulous documentation of artist Virginia Carson. Among the diverse styles identified, the Pecos River style stands out as the oldest and most elaborate. Featuring colorful anthropomorphs, abstract humanoid figures with distinctive headdresses, staffs, and atlatls, this style is exemplified by the enigmatic white shaman figure at the White Shaman Preserve. Despite enduring for millennia due to the region's arid climate, the future of Lower Pecos rock art is uncertain. Human activity and environmental changes pose significant threats to these invaluable treasures, making their preservation a pressing concern. Altamira Cave Spain's Altamira Cave is a world-renowned archaeological site celebrated for its stunning prehistoric cave paintings. Located near Santillana del Mar in Cantabria, the cave boasts intricate depictions of local animals like bison and horses, as well as enigmatic human handprints. Dating back to the Upper Paleolithic period, approximately 36,000 years ago, these artworks represent a pinnacle of human creativity. Discovered in 1868 by Modesto Cobias, the cave's significance wasn't fully realized until a decade later when Marcelino Sanz de Sao Tuola and his young daughter Maria recognized the intricate drawings on the walls. This groundbreaking discovery challenged prevailing notions about prehistoric humans and their artistic abilities. Altamira's vibrant and lifelike paintings were among the first to be widely accepted as authentic prehistoric art, marking a pivotal moment in the understanding of human history. However, the scientific community initially met the discovery with skepticism, with some experts dismissing the paintings as forgeries. The subsequent discovery of similar sites in France solidified Altamira's reputation as a genuine treasure trove of Ice Age art. Despite extensive research, the exact dating of the cave's artworks remain a subject of debate among experts. The ongoing quest to precisely determine the age of these masterpieces highlights the complexity and challenges of archaeological research. Kozka Cave The Kozka Cave, nestled beneath the waters of the Salon de Marseille in France, is a truly extraordinary archaeological site. Discovered by Henry Kosker in 1991, the cave's entrance is submerged 37 meters below sea level, accessible only through a 175 meter long tunnel. The underwater marvel showcases a remarkable collection of Upper Paleolithic art spanning two distinct periods. The earliest artworks, dating back approximately 27,000 years, feature hand stencils and abstract shapes. Later, around 19,000 years ago, the cave's inhabitants produced detailed depictions of both land and sea creatures including bison, ibexes, horses, seals, oxen, jellyfish, and possibly fish or cetaceans. Beyond the animal motifs, Kosko Cave also presents intriguing human symbols such as sexual motifs and the rare depiction of a killed man, a subject found in other renowned caves like La Chole. Unfortunately, due to its underwater location, much of the cave's artwork has been damaged by seawater over time. Cabo Cave Cabo Cave, nestled within Romania's Apoceni Natural Park, holds the potential to be one of Central Europe's oldest known cave art sites. Radiocarbon dating suggests these artworks may date back an astonishing 32,000 to 35,000 years, placing them within the Aurignacian and Gravettian periods of the Paleolithic era. The cave's walls are adorned with a series of black animal representations, lightly created using charcoal. Bison, bears, and rhinoceroses are among the recognizable subjects although some images remain unidentified. 
These drawings are scattered across the cave walls, lacking a symmetrical arrangement. While estimates place the artworks within the Middle Paleolithic, aligning with the Aurignacian and Gravettian cultures, this dating remains contentious due to the rarity of cave bears and rhinoceroses during these periods. The lack of uniformity in the artwork further complicates the dating process, suggesting multiple creation periods rather than a single artistic endeavor. La Chaux La Chaux, a complex of caves near Montagnac in southwestern France, is renowned worldwide for its extraordinary collection of parietal wall paintings. Discovered in 1940, these caves house approximately 6,000 intricate images, primarily depicting large animals such as wild cattle or aurochs and horses, typically of the Upper Paleolithic era. Created using a variety of mineral pigments including iron oxide, hematite and manganese, these artworks are divided into three main categories – animals, human figures and abstract signs. Notably absent are depictions of the surrounding landscape or vegetation. One of the most famous images is the elaborate black bull found in one of the cave's chambers. Researchers like David Lewis Williams and Jean Clot have drawn parallels between the Lasho paintings and the art of the San people of southern Africa, suggesting a potential link to spiritual practices and altered states of consciousness. Lasho offers a unique window into the minds of our prehistoric ancestors, revealing the significance of animals in their lives and hinting at the complex spiritual beliefs that underpinned their existence. Drakensberg Rock Art the Drakensberg Mountains boast one of the world's most remarkable collections of rock art, with approximately 30,000 examples adorning its landscapes. This extraordinary artistic legacy is a core reason for the region's UNESCO World Heritage status. Created by the San people, also known as Bushmen, these artworks offer a captivating glimpse into the lives and spiritual beliefs of these early inhabitants of southern Africa. As skilled hunters and gatherers, the San depicted their daily activities, hunting techniques and spiritual experiences in their art. The Drakensberg rock art features a diverse range of subjects, including animals like Irland, considered particularly significant, and humans engaged in various activities. The artists employed a variety of materials from charcoal and iron oxide to animal blood and fat as pigments and binding agents. This extraordinary collection provides invaluable insights into the culture and worldview of the San people, offering a tangible connection to a distant past. Fond de Gorme Cave Fond de Gorme, located near Les Aisies de Taillac in southwestern France, is a renowned cave celebrated for its exceptional collection of Paleolithic paintings and engravings. Discovered in 1901 by Denis Peyroni, the cave boasts over 200 identified images, making it one of the finest examples of polychrome cave outside of La Chaux. These artworks, dating back to the Magdalenian period, primarily depict animals such as bison, horses and mammoths showcasing the artistic prowess of our prehistoric ancestors. The cave's intricate and vibrant paintings provide invaluable insights into the lives and beliefs of these early humans. Due to its exceptional artistic and historical significance, Fond de Gorme was inscribed on the UNESCO World Heritage List as part of the prehistoric sites and decorated caves of the Vézère Valley. Lars Gilles A vibrant window into the past, Lars Gilles, meaning camel's watering hole in Somali, is an extraordinary archaeological site nestled amidst two ancient riverbeds in Somaliland. This remote location boasts a stunning collection of cave paintings dating back an estimated 5,000 to 7,000 years, offering a captivating glimpse into the region's rich history and culture. Discovered in 2002 by a French research team led by Xavier Guthers, La Gilles revealed a vibrant tapestry of rock art, lithic tools and ancient tombs. Paintings adorned across 20 rock shelters showcase a remarkable palette of colors including red, white, black, violet, brown and yellow. One of the site's most distinctive features is the depiction of humpless cows with unique rectangular necks adorned with vibrant stripes. These ceremonial cow figures, along with other images of domesticated dogs, giraffes and humans, offer invaluable insights into the lives and beliefs of the people who created them. Despite the harsh desert environment, the colors of the Lars Giel paintings have remained remarkably vivid, making this site a truly exceptional archaeological treasure. Bimbetka Rock Shelters The Bimbetka Rock Shelters, located in central India, house an extraordinary collection of over 600 paintings spanning the Paleolithic, Mesolithic and Historic periods. These ancient artworks, some dating back at least 12,000 years, offer a unique window into the lives of early inhabitants. Depicting animals such as tigers, lions, crocodiles, elephants and deer, as well as human figures engaged in hunting, the paintings provide valuable insights into the region's prehistoric ecosystem and human activities. 
The use of pigments like black manganese oxides, red hematite and charcoal reveals the artistic skills and knowledge of these early artists. Bimbetka stands as a testament to India's rich prehistory, showcasing the evolution of human expression and adaptation over millennia. These ancient masterpieces are a testament to humanity's extraordinary artistic journey. Want to uncover more hidden treasures? Hit that like button, share with fellow history buffs, drop a comment with your favorite cave art, and subscribe for more epic adventures.